how is other people? How many people of you have heard about this video? So today, I'm glad to be here to share with you some of my top moments, leading to sort of understanding about this famous quote from Sartre, a French philosopher and playwright. So the story occurred when I was in high school. I was, um, our class was a rocket class. So for those of you who don't get this, that means our class was consisted of students, the top students from the entire province. So everyone was so focused on studying that they don't even really want to spend too much time talking and chatting, which was exactly what I needed and loved as a way of entertainment. Also, I lived in a dormitory, and there are eight people in a sort sharing a small room. I had to deal with the interpersonal relationships and adapt to others' habits. I had a hard time finding people to have good conversation with and not to mention make best friends. I didn't realize this could even be a problem because I used to have lots of friends. I felt like I lived in a hell and I blamed other people for it. Because I thought it's the other people that didn't want to talk with me and it's the other people that had no interest other than studying and it's the other people that don't want friendship with me. Eventually, I switched to a different seat and started to make new friends. But when I look back later, I realized it is the prejudice against other people making life a hell. Because later I found the people I thought don't want to chat with me turned out to be very shy. And I found the people I thought of as nerds turned out to be big fans of sports. And the people I thought who didn't want to make friends with me turned out to just need more time. So don't draw a biased conclusion about people before you really know them. And even if you have prejudice against a person, don't generalize it to a group. So next time, if you feel like living in the hell, think about it. It is the other people, or is it just your prejudice makes life a hell? Thank you.